What's going on YouTube? Geosan right here. So in today's video I have massive news for those of you waiting for an iOS 13.3, 13.3.1, 13.2 and so on jailbreak. Even for the A12 and A13 devices. A new jailbreak has been achieved with Cydia and of course it has been demoed by this developer in here. He posted quote iOS 13.3.1 beta 3 jailbreak on iPhone 10. Oh my god rip Kobe. And he posted in here a video showing his iPhone 10 being jailbroken with a TFP0 kernel exploit not with check range. So as you can see here he has his own exploit and he even installs Cydia and demonstrates it throughout the video. And we do know that this guy is legitimate but don't worry it's not only for the iPhone 10. Later on he posted this in here quote also for the iPhone 11 Pro Max iOS 13.3.1 beta 3 which by the way iOS 13.3.1 is no longer in beta it has been released and it's now available. So you have iOS 13.3 and 13.3.1 currently signed but I do not recommend going to iOS 13.3.1 from 13.3. If you're running 13.3 or lower, like 13.2.3, 13.2.2, 0.1.3 and so on, stay where you are. But he posted this in here which says that there is an iPhone 11 Pro Max jailbreak complete with Cydia and everything in here. So let me show you. If you go ahead, he shows the phone. He does show that it's an iPhone 11 Pro Max. And of course, he installs the same exploit in here, even created a basic jailbreak application for it. And as you can see that after that, the phone reboots and then of course, we do have uh, Cydia I think. Yeah it says Cydia in here and um, you can see that it works pretty fine. It does load in there. He tries to connect to the local host and he is successful. You can see here that he's able to use a terminal. So basically he's got a full jailbreak running on the iPhone 11 Pro Max which is currently the best device from Apple running the latest version which at that point was in beta. I don't know if it supports the uh, latest version in here or whether the beta 3 is the same as the iOS 13.3.1 in here but I think that might be the case and also of course this means that the jailbreak works pretty fine. Now he did not give any information about remount if there was any new technique used or if it was necessary about PAC bypasses or if he even used one. He didn't exactly give a lot of information about this but we do know that the developer is legitimate because many security researchers in our community who are legitimate developers are indeed following him so that's actually a good sign towards his credibility. And a few weeks ago he posted the fact that he had 13 0.3 TFP0 so we do know that he's been researching and he's been working on this for quite a while. Now he even got some problems with the UI cache which is basically the binary that ensures that you can refresh the applications installed on the phone. For example if I install Cydia as part of the jailbreak I need to run UI cache to update the list of applications that the device sees because otherwise the new application will not show on the screen until we refresh that. And UI cache is actually created by Soric. Now he said in here quote UI cache is not working properly on iOS 13.3 and 13.3.1 the fix is to change an Objective C method name because the original one no longer exists. And he posted a picture in here with the differences. So this is actually a very cool thing because this means that he did have some issues with the jailbreak itself, but he of course fixed them. And this also means that since he posted this, we now know when we got a TFP0 what to do to fix the UI cache. Because bugs like this can actually take a long time to fix because you don't know what exactly is wrong. You expect UI cache to actually work because it's been working for years. But as you can see in here in 13.3 and 13.3.1 Apple suddenly decided to change a method name which would break of course the UI cache and the developers would be basically stuck trying to figure out why it doesn't work and why the applications do not show on the screen after jailbreak. So I'm very happy he released this piece of information in here because this is actually something we needed to know. We need UI cache to actually work if we are planning to jailbreak a device because if you don't have a UI cache working even if you install Cydia it won't appear on the screen so you cannot open it and uh, yeah that's actually very cool but this also proves the fact that he did have to manually fix that so this means that he does have a proper jailbreak. So yeah an iOS 13.3 3.1 and iOS 13.3 jailbreak has been achieved including for the A13 like the iPhone 11 Pro 11 and so on and the A12 devices like the iPhone XS, XS Max and 10R, but also for the older devices as well if you're interested in this rather than the check range. Of course there is no word on any release for the moment but I will keep you updated if the uh, developer releases anything. He might once the exploit is patched. So yeah that's basically it guys thank you for watching I am Geosnow. Till the next time subscribe to stay updated with the latest news and peace out.